Hello, ni hao. In the previous lessons, we learned that the basic unit of the Chinese language is the syllable, and each syllable has a tone. Starting from this lesson, you'll learn that in addition to the tone, it usually has what we call an initial, and it always has what we call a final. Do you remember this pinyin chart? It shows you every single possible Chinese sound that exists. The initials are listed across the top, and the finals are listed on the left. And in the middle, you see how those initials and finals can be combined to form syllables. We're going to learn the finals or vowels first, starting with the five finals that begin with the letter A. Let's get started. The first one is the English letter A. A in Chinese is pronounced as ah. It's like you're going to the dentist and you have to open your mouth wide and say ah, like the ah sound in father. Say it with me. Ah, ah. This is how you say father or dad in Chinese. It's ba ba, with a fourth tone and a neutral tone. Baba. Next is ai. It's pronounced i. Ai, i. It's like your i or the end of goodbye. Say it with me. I. This final can be used on its own as a syllable without an initial. If you say it with a fourth tone, it's i, which means love. I. The way you say "I love you" in Chinese is 我爱你 Now let's move on to a n. A n in Chinese is pronounced as an. It's different from the English a n pronunciation. So try to clear your mind and any ideas that you already have about how a n should be pronounced. In Chinese, it's an. An. Let's look at this syllable, d a n. In Chinese, it's not dan like your friend's name. It's dan. It's a shorter and crisper sound in Chinese. Dan. And if you give it a fourth tone, it becomes dan, which means egg. Dan. Now let's move on to a n g. A N G in Chinese is pronounced as ang. It's more like A H N G, ang. Let me teach you how to say lollipop in Chinese. It's really cute. It's bang bang tang. Fourth tone, fourth tone, second tone. Bang bang tang. They all have the A N G final. Remember the tones. Bang bang tang. Good. Okay, next, a o in Chinese is pronounced as ow, ow. It's like the first part of the word ouch, or like the last part of the word cow. But you open up the back of your mouth even more, like you're trying to swallow a big orange. Ow, ow. The word for good in Chinese contains this final. It's how with a third tone, how. Say it with me, how. Good. Before we go, let me tell you something really important about pinyin. As you learn the final sounds or vowels, please keep this in mind. Each final represents a completely different sound. One letter is not always pronounced in the same way. So you have to learn to pronounce each final individually. For example, the final spelled a sounds like a, but you probably already noticed that the letter a doesn't keep that same pronunciation inside the final a n, which is pronounced an. Later, when we learn the final spelled i a n, you see that the a is also not pronounced a there. I a n is pronounced. Yin, so that a has a very different sound in each different final. So the trick is to learn a as one final sound, 
a n as a totally separate final sound, and i a n as another totally separate final sound. Even though all three of them have an a in them. I'm telling you this now because I want you to get into the habit now of taking each final individually, so that you won't get confused later. Okay, that's all for this lesson. We've covered the ah group sounds, and next time we'll cover something different. All right, see you next time. 再见。